guys, it's Green Deja. And in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes five and six of Blue Lock. Ooh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I don't know what happened. I think I must have hovered. Oh, I hovered over the weather portion. Oh my god. All right. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode five and three, two, one, go. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> there goes my dog again. I save. Yes, don't just stand there for a moment. Go. But you're smart and you're wit. Oh, you'll see. Don't be too cocky. <sighs> Well, they're going to do everything in their power to just make it a draw or even win the game. It's going to be all of them. Mm hmm If you don't catch up with them, y'all going to fucking lose. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. You soggy? Play the opening. Oh, my God.
Oh my god. Hurry! Oh, shit. God damn. Oh. Yes! I would cry too. Be like, bro, my career is over. I can't do shit now. Baby, that's a feeling of a winner. A fucking winner. Oh, now they do the open. Well, I mean, because you know what? It makes no sense to do the opening. You could have just skipped it. I mean, damn, like seven minutes. I mean, I ain't mad at it, though. But you know how sometimes it's not necessary to put the opening? This is one of those moments. We could have just continued on. We didn't need the opening, but I'm okay with it. It's fine. I mean, shit, like, you know what, I didn't say this in, like, the first two episodes, but this is just the anime version of the Hunger Games, except nobody dies, their careers die, <laughs> and such, which is still sad, and I think, you know, no one wants to trample on someone else to win, but it, it's a doggy dog world, and, you know, if it's between you and one other person in order for you to win something, then fuck yeah, you're gonna do everything in your power to make yourself win, even if you are essentially friends with someone else on the opposite team. Because at the end of the day, that one of y'all is gonna win and one of y'all is gonna lose, so. Mm. I will definitely be eating dinner after this. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, but since y'all won, and y'all, I know y'all are going higher up, so y'all should be getting some better food now, especially Isagi. Uh, no, I mean, like, yeah, well, at least it's not bad in a while, but you ain't got to eat it every single time. Yeah. See, but that's your talent, babe.
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Seriously, we can't have separate rooms to sleep? Damn. Not in my opinion. So cute. Oh, okay. Yeah, do you want to finally share that? I mean, yeah, it's just you two right here now. Are you just still embarrassed about it? But when she had that tear, I got that.
Right? I mean, damn. Uh, lazy. Being dead, damn. <laughs> well, who the hell on Team B? Okay, now why do I feel like Chiggity? He's going to be last now because of that. Damn, he I he ain't last. He's second to last. You're right about that. And copiers never really win. Well, at least it's Team W, not V, because if it was V, y'all be fucking screwed. I wonder if Team W is the guys in green. Maybe. We'll find out soon. Right.
He just saw baby. Precious baby. Oh my god. Okay, so I felt, like, hella bad about Jiggity. Like, okay, so even before I fell in love with Rin, I fell in love instantly with Jiggity. And it was every freaking TikTok edit that I seen of him, I was just like, oh my god, he's so freaking cute and pretty because his long hair and stuff, oh my god. Um, he looks very prince-like and such. I was like, he's just so freaking cute, precious baby boy. But to hear that he has that tear in his leg... And he wants to, he's doing this only so that he can basically find out why he still loves this. And to eventually kind of, you know, lose his love, fall out of love with this sport and stuff. But I think at the same time, due to Isagi being Isagi, um, he is go he's making everybody fall even more in love with the sport. The fact that Isagi is now, like, the top player in his group, it is now, like, it's put everybody, <laughs> like, a fire up their eyes because they're like, oh, okay, he's doing this? Okay, that means we gotta do this. We gotta do everything he's doing in order to be top. Now, I was not expecting Chidi to be, like, the second to last I was expecting him to be last, but still, he still is good. I, I love the fact that we got this episode to really focus on him a teensy weensy bit because I did want to learn more about him, but I feel like in the next couple of episodes, we will learn even more about him, but still. I like that blow dryer. It's nice. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> you drew a dolphin? God. I feel for these guys sometimes because like yeah y'all in one room together you're you're together 24 7 they don't get any moment where they are well no the only time these guys will sometimes have any alone time is maybe when they're taking a late shower eating a late dinner or working out late doing whatever but once again now since isagi is now number one in this group everybody is going to want to do training and everything together so when isagi eats everybody eats when isagi wants to go take a bath everybody goes takes a bath when he works out everybody's working out that's it nobody gets to do things on their own time anymore i mean damn but i i get it i think if it was like a female version of this and it, whoever would be the top player in that show for it same fucking thing Think about, like, any other sport. Like, the only one that I can say that is almost, like, this very competitive as a sport. Like, okay, volleyball. Now, as someone who played volleyball and basketball, we can put that in there, too. Um, I like to say I was average. I was, and I'll even say that I was like that in golf, too. Um, I was not number one. I was not the best. I was just good at what I did. I always tried my fucking best. Did I ever have a girl who I was, who was, I can't speak, who was my teammate that I looked up to? No, not really, because I was just like, I can get teaches from teachers, coaches, whatever, and just like that, and I always just try my best. But to those who did, um, that I had, that I was friends with, they always tried to hang out with that person, um, to the point that some of my teammates thought that was super annoying, especially the person who was, like, quote-unquote, the top player and such, because, of course, no matter what, in sports and just anything, even, you know, in the work room, 
at your job, your boss will always do the favoritism thing. And you probably have not seen it or experienced it yet outside of work, how you probably experienced it in school. I know I did. We all had to. There was always one teacher or teachers that had their favorites and everyone else, you were always troublemakers in their faces, in their eyes. Me, um, did some of my teachers, <laughs> did my teachers play favorites on me? Oh, heck yeah. Because I was the, I'm, I'm still the good girl. I always did my work. I did everything to just always uh, please them and never have to like be on their shit list. This is the same thing and such. Because if you're on the shit list, you're automatically out. You don't get to play soccer anymore and that fucking sucks. <laughs> Hopefully, like I said in the next couple episodes, we get to learn more about Chikadi because once again, I love him so much. He's so freaking precious. I'm just, I mean, learning a little bit about his backstory to in this episode was really nice but I just there's something more about him he's been like him and I think it's but I think that's how you say his name um both of them are the most mysterious characters besides like Isagi when I first met him and I have others because Rin he is very mysterious until when we finally meet him. God, I'm ready. It's only episode five and I want to see this man. I hate seeing him in openings because I'm like, I don't get to see you yet until probably later on. Um, But yeah, that's all I got to say. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode six. Okay, episode six in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Ash Cody. We don't have any footage of them. Of course, it is the fucking green team. You know them? Tina, you better speak the fuck up now! I mean, okay, so either he knows them personally, or he went against them. It's one of the two, because just the, the face he made and the per like the fact that he perked up when he saw them hello mm.
Damn. <laughs> Did you pass out, honestly? <laughs> oh god And they already starting at that shit. Oh, what the hell? Nice. You eat shit for a moment. Shiggity, stop!
Nice. Right? You're a completely different person from then. Cause he pissed about that win. Oh my God, phone, shut up. I'm not getting up to answer the phone. Check something real quick. No. <laughs> I can't. Wait him. Oh my God. Hold up now. Hey, there we go. Put that fell on that shit. Don't be overly confident now just because y'all three points, you know, in the lead. Don't say that. Don't say that. He about to... Oh, shit. Oh, they're gonna fucking catch up. They're gonna fucking catch up. That's why I said, don't be overly confident.
my god! That's now two. Oh, shit. Right? Maybe a little bit of both. Right? No, 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 because I saw that shit too. Um, Great. Go back to Isagi. Damn it. Hold up, wait, 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 wait. If you, are you kind of telling me that Kwan is kind of giving them hints? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, hell nah. Okay, hold up. Time the fuck out. What the fuck are you doing? Wow. The absolute fuck? So that's what you were fucking doing? Oh, hell no. Nah. But why? By losing, you would lose. You can't, you wouldn't even play soccer anymore. Are you fucking kidding me?
Oh my fucking god. You gotta be fucking kidding me. And you're really gonna let this go. But- But you don't know how much you're going to approve on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Cool on. I, I can't believe this. That's why. That's why he wants to do that. I mean, I get that, but you still need teamwork! Chiggity has to do something next week. I, I, oh god, no, I can't wait until next week to watch it. I gotta watch these next two episodes fucking now, or at least this weekend. Bruh, I never would have thought Kwan would have, like, betrayed them, but okay, I get it. I, I 100% get it, because in this day and age, and especially in this situation, you can't trust one another. Even if you are buddy buddy with someone one minute you can be friends and the next minute you can be fucking enemies so hold up hold up hold up, hold up. Th this is one thing i want to fucking know so let's say team z does win because obviously you know it's isagi he's the main character they're going to win regardless so kuan is automatically going to continue on with them and everybody's going to be okay with that oh hell no nah. i know i would not be okay with that i've been like nah bruh now, bro, you sold us out. You shouldn't really be in this group anymore. You officially, you know, decided to be on Team W. Once you sided with them and gave secrets up about everybody in this fucking group, you already chose your side. And so you can't choose that shit back. You can't. Even though he in the, open, in the ending right here, he can't choose that back. I'm sorry. Once you out, you out. You cannot come back in. Please do not let him back in. I'm sorry, because that's a bitch move. That is a bitch ass move. I'm sorry, and I don't like him. I be watching his ass every time when he be taking a bath. Ah, the American breakfast.
Like, seriously. He was the nicest guy on this team. I'm thinking, like, but, like, episode one, two, I was like, oh, he's so sweet. Like, yeah, he got that jump on him, and he can hit good with his head. All right, we gonna get some shots with this dude. But you, you know what? And, and it was, like, even before we found out that he was betraying them, every single time when he took those three shots, I was like, okay, I ain't mad at it. Mm. But with that smile. Once that smile came up, I was like, something not right about this shit. Something else going on. We're going to find out. Like, I, I thought we were going to end it on a cliffhanger with us finding out next week that he was betraying them and such. Not in this episode, but boy, we already know Team Z is going to win. Obviously, like I said, you know, Isagi is the main character. They're, they're only going to get that one loss that they got. And the fact is that Kwan is like, well, you know, this team beat this team 8-0. to zero, And then when we went against them, um, after they lost, you know, we, we struggled and such. Okay, I get that. But you could still win. That's the thing. From where you were at this to where you could become. You're... I, oh my god, I have the fucking word, but I can't, I, I don't remember what it is. You're, you're making yourself, um, better. You're studying a lot more on it, and you're, you're improving yourself. That's not really the word I was thinking of, but it's just, like, something else. Improving your skills and such. And so, with improving, I think, yes, they could possibly defeat that team. Who freaking knows? But now that Kuan is now showing, showing his true face... If they win, uh, like I said, all I want to know is, are y'all going to take him the fuck back? Because if it was me, I wouldn't take him back. No, like, he, he's cute. I, and I really, I, I had a little crush on him too when I when I watched episode one and two for the first time and such. But now, screw him. Screw him. Fuck him. Mm-mm. I need him to go, and I need him to go now. But other than that, guys, that is my action view towards episodes five and six of Blue Lock. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episodes seven and eight. Bye, guys!